your Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse 10. 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse Let's go to verse 9. 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse 9. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elijah. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. Yes. But Naaman was wroth, and went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of his God, his, of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper, and are not Abana and Farpar rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servant came near and spake unto him and said, My father. If the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, wouldn't thou would have done it? Yeah. How much rather then when he said to thee, wash and be clean. Mm -hmm. Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again like under the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Yes. May the Lord add a blessing yes. to the reading and the hearing and the understanding and the exegeting of this text. Yes. Let us pray. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we are so excited because we know that there are some nuggets in here for us. We know that there is a word from the Lord and we are patiently waiting to hear from you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. The message on tonight, I know that we are all adults. I know that everyone pretty much in here is grown, but I have a question for you. Can you follow instructions? Mm -hmm. Ah, somebody ought to say amen. It's a question if you say, can we follow instructions? That's right, that's what the question is. Can you follow instructions? God does good will to all. It is God's will that all would be saved. Yeah. Naaman was a great man. He had honorable service to his country. Mm -hmm. Naaman was rich. He lived in a great neighborhood. <laughs> but Naaman was a leper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Naaman, just like all of us, We've got some issues that nobody knows about. Right. Mm -hmm. All of us, Amen. don't let the road fool you. I got some issues too. I got some things in my life that make me hit my knees and seek the Lord in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right about yeah. it? Yeah. And all of us got some issues. If it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah. Why is it that the best time in life could also be the worst time yeah. in life? Yeah. Huh? The enemy came and sowed bad seed and good ground. Somebody ought to say amen. Yeah. Naaman had a hidden problem. Naaman had dressed up the outside, yeah. but he was messed up on the inside. Yeah. Uh-huh. Naaman made show that all his clothes fitted him just right so the people wouldn't see his leprosy. Uh-huh. 
but only the people in his household really knew that he was a leper. Uh huh. Naaman had a conflict of image and character. Greatness, honor, money, valor does not excuse us from the issues in life. Amen. Am I right about it? Yeah. Uh, somebody ought to say amen. amen. Uh, what is causing your pain? What do you need God to do for you? Call on the name of the Lord. Yes. Call on him. Yes. Call on him. Open up your mouth and say, Jesus, Jesus. have mercy on me. Mercy. Jesus, Jesus, I need you and I need you right now. And I need a right now blessing. Yes. Come and come quickly. I need yes. you to move this mess out of my way. Yes. Somebody yes. don't say amen. Yes. Oh, you ought to think about your situation. You ought to think about what you're going through right yeah. now. Yeah. You better worship God in yeah. spirit yeah. and the truth. Yeah. If you got a problem, yeah. hit your head back and say, Hallelujah! Help! Help, Lord, I need some help right now. Uh, somebody ought to say amen. Oh, you ought to feel better already. Amen. Jesus, have mercy on me. I need you and I need you right now. Look at your neighbor and say, you might as well praise him in advance. Yeah, you might as well praise him in advance. I know God is going to move this situation. Weeping may do for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Put your hands together. Yeah. I need my praise to shake the gates of hell. I need that devil to say, wait a minute, there must be no something because I'm trying to worry them and they're praising God. Somebody ought to say amen. Oh, when you praise God, you remind the devil that he lost his job. Am I right about it? Oh, you lost your job. Nah, 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 you lost your job. Uh-huh. Somebody ought to say amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remind you that you are defeated. Naaman's servant was a little girl. She was an Israelite girl that was taken in captivity by Syria. But she remembered the anointing of the prophet in Israel and desired her master to be healed by the man of God. Uh huh. Obey those that have rule over you. Am I right about it? Listen, listen, listen. You ought to make up your mind that regardless of the working conditions, I am going to be the best worker on on the job. Yeah. I'm going to have a genuine interest for my boss to be successful. Yeah. When I see his areas of weakness, I'm going to help him in that. I know I'm here. I know God has more for me, but maybe if I be faithful over a few things, he'll make me rule over many. Yeah. Am I right? But we got to have the right attitude toward those in leadership. We want to, we have to want to see the best for them. Yeah. If they got a problem, we should be a part of the solution and not the problem. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this, this is what Christianity is all about. We are supposed to be different from the world. Right. Yeah. Most of the people on the job, they don't like the boss and they start plotting against them. Yeah. Am I right about yeah. it? But what we've got to do, we've got to say no. I'm going to let my light so shine right. that men would see my good work. He's going to see that I've got a genuine interest in his success yeah. and he's going to make me successful. Yeah. You don't hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Put your hands together. Yeah. Oh, you got to have a servant's heart. You got to bless the leaders. You got to desire the best for them. Yeah. Point out the solution to the leaders and not the problems. Right. 
Don't be the one. Listen, let me, if you want to be promoted in any organization, you have to step up. Don't step down, step up. Right, Always take on more responsibility. Always be a part of the solution and not the problem. Stay out of the corner with the ones that's complaining about the boss and be in the boss office and asking him what's next. Am I right about it? Evangelism is the way that we carry the message. We have to carry the good news that Jesus Christ is Lord. That he can put your life back together again. I know you got a problem, but Jesus is the solution. Am I right about it? If you would just listen to the word of God, God will solve your hidden problems. Put your hands together. Tell them that God speaks through the word of God and through the man of God. Listen, 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 listen. I already know I've read the Bible. Listen, they didn't even want to acknowledge Jesus and every preacher in here know that they're next. Amen. Amen. They didn't, listen, they did not, they practiced low Christology and not high Christology. They said, Bishop, you in here using some big words tonight. You know what Christology means? God was fully human and fully divine. Amen. 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 That he was God and man. And we have to respect him as such. And you know what the problem is? The problem is when you don't understand that God speaks through people, that God will give you a confirmation through people. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit, God can use you to give a message. You don't have to have a collar on. You just need to be filled with God's Spirit. Am I right about it? And Spirit recognize Spirit. Amen. And let me make this plain. Sons and daughters, put your hands together. Am I right about it? Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Let me tell you something. You know what? At age 56, I got more daughters than I got sons. Hey! Am I right about it? And I love every last one of them. Put your hands together. Yeah, that's, a, that's a shameless, that's a shameless uh, 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 pitch for some more sons. Amen? <laughs> tell them how you found the solution to your problems. Uh-huh. Tell them about, see, we We've got to learn how to be transparent when God tells us to be transparent. Uh huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me clarify this. Do not cast your pearls among the swine. You know why? Because what's valuable to you is not valuable to them. So you should learn how to use wisdom and use your testimony to set the captive free. Let me tell you what the conditions are. You got the same problem I got. Hey! (laughs) Your secret is safe with me. I'm not going to tell on you and you're not going to tell on me since we got a Vested interest in this thing. Let me tell you how I got out. Amen. Amen. I'm going to use my testimony to set the captive free. If you tell your testimony to people that don't have your problem, they're going to start talking about you. Amen. Am I right about it? Somebody ought to say amen. Ah, praise the Lord. Ah, God said that you would be a fisher of men and Women. Mm -hmm. There are at least five servants in this text. Naaman was the king's servant. The maid was the house servant. The prophet was God's servant. Naaman had servants. And the prophet had servants. The word of God through the man of God is the solution to your problem. Naaman believed the spiritual intelligence and made a move towards hope. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what happened. 
If Naaman had really recognized that the man of God was speaking at first, Naaman would have moved at first. Yes. But Naaman wanted to do something great because he liked to see his name up in light. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Am I right about it? Yeah. See, you got to learn how to follow simple instructions yes. even when they don't put the spotlight on you. Yes. You've got to learn how to follow simple instructions when nobody's looking. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. Don't be caught up. Okay, okay, okay. Let me give you another example. We're not going to call you up to the pulpit, but we need you to start washing some toilets. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, we're not going to put the limelight on you, but we need you to pass up some programs. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. Can you follow instructions? They yeah. might not ask you to do something great, but you need to recognize we need people to wash the toilets That's and we right. need somebody to pull out the program. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. And all of us are working for the same God. Yeah. Can you amen. follow it? instruction. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. Do you believe? Yes. Do you really believe? Yes. Then make a move. Make a move. If you really believe, you need to make a move. Amen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for with no evidence. Mm. And if you really believe the word of God, there must be corresponding action. Mm. Yeah. If there's no corresponding action, we don't know if you really believe. Right. Noah believed. Amen. Noah built a ark. You know what? They said, Noah, you need to leave that wine alone. <laughs> Noah believed and Noah Amen. built the, they said, Noah, you need to listen, listen, this is crazy. You building an ark in a place where we hadn't seen rain in years. Ah, but Noah had faith. Yes. Noah knew he heard from God. And you got to risk the, you got to put yourself in a position that you would look real stupid stupid to other people, yeah. but God will prove your ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. I see myself in the text. You could be on the back side of the desert. Nobody really knows who you are, but let me tell you something. You got to learn how to work in the dark. You got to learn how to prove your ministry. You got to do what you got to do and be the best at what you do right. when nobody's looking. You got to get to the intersection of faith and reason and yeah. you got to understand something. I'm going to stay on the street of faith. Yeah. I'm not turning down reason. Yeah. Somebody ought to say amen. Yeah. You got to know that opportunity meets up with preparation. Yeah. Somebody ought to say yeah. amen. Ah, yeah. oh, you're desperate enough. Do you really want this problem to be solved? Right. Are you desperate enough that you're willing to do whatever you got to do? Amen. Some of us are not desperate enough. Yeah. Some of us are not desperate enough. We have a high threshold yes, for pain. Yes, and the pain has not been great enough to convince us to do something different. When the pain is excruciating and you can't do what you normally do, then you cry out and say, Lord, help me. Yes. I need you to tell me what to do. I can't take anymore. Yes. Well, I experienced it in my own life. Yes. I experienced it in my own life. I got to the point that I said, God, I need you to help me. He yeah. said, Melvin, are you ready? I said, yes. Yeah. He said, can you follow instructions? I said, yes, Lord. He said, do this. And I kept listening to that voice, and my life got better. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 My sheep know my voice, right. and a stranger they will not follow. Yes. And what we've got to do, we've got to get 
to the end of ourselves right. where we begin to listen to God's voice. Yes. Tune out the rest of the voices and listen to the voice of God. Amen. Recognize that voice when that voice is speaking. Amen. Tune into it. Tune everybody else out. And every time you hear that voice, do what he's telling you to do. Amen. Can amen. you follow instruction? Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. Ah, Y'all don't hear me. Naaman got the king of Israel to write the king of Israel a letter to request his healing. Uh -huh. The king of Israel could not understand the request because he was practicing idolatry. Wow. Mm -hmm. He depended on his ability instead of God's ability. Let me tell you what the problem. The king of Israel, he had neglected the prophet. He wasn't studying the preacher anymore. He stopped coming to church. He said, listen, listen, listen. I'm tired of listening to him. I'm, you know, I'm going on my own. Don't you know that's a dangerous position? Listen, when you go on your own and you minimize the word of God, you're putting yourself in harm's way. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. The servant girl acknowledged the man of God. The king overlooked the man of God. The servant servants acknowledge what kings overlook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Servants hope where kings get frustrated. Yeah. Servants and kings should depend. The servants and kings mm -hmm. should depend on God. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Servants and Amen. kings should depend. Depend on God. Amen. Elijah sent word to his servant, go and wash in the Jordan River. God speaks through his servants. Mm -hmm. And God gives illogical instructions. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Can you follow instructions? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then just do it. That's right. Amen. Just do, listen, do not put any reason on it. Right. Don't Put your spin on it. Get out of the back room and stop sitting in the dark. Am I right about it? Just do it. Somebody say, just do it. Ah, God speaks to his servants. God gives illogical instruction. I find it consistent that God gives illogical instruction. God will tell you to do stuff that does not make any sense. Right. It is consistent. It goes, you know what? Educated people get in trouble all the time. Uh -huh. You know why? Because when God tells them to do something that the Defies what they learn in school, yeah. they talk themselves out of it. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. See, what we've got to understand, we don't operate by the facts. We operate by faith. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. Just do it. Just do it. Put your hands together and give the Lord some praise. Neiman reminded him that these were simple instructions. And what we've got to do, we have got to take God at his word. God is calling all of us to greatness. God has spoken to everybody in this room. And God has called you into greatness. But let me explain to you what your problem is. You've got a problem of fear. Yeah. You cannot let fear, mm. lack of money, lack of education, whatever it is, you cannot let it stop you. Yeah. You've got to understand something, that if you would just step out of the boat, do you that. know that God has people and resources and he's just waiting on you yes. to step yes. out of the boat. Yes. Make the first move. Yes. 
can you follow instruction? I sense in my spirit that God is reminding everybody in this room of lost hope. Yeah. He is reminding everybody, everybody in the audience, he is reminding you of things that have gotten away, yeah. things that have been slipped out of your hands. Yeah. Well, tonight, we're going to put it back in your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Make some noise in here. Somebody say, Lord, put it back in my hands. Father God, I need you to speak right now. Give me another chance. I want to live. I want to have the abundant life. God, I need you to put it in my hands. I need you to help me with this fear. I need you to help me to step out on faith. I need you to give me the courage. Put a word in the preacher's mouth that validates and let me know that what I'm thinking is real. Oh, I need you to move, Father God. I need you to move right now. I'm tired of this situation, tired of the circumstances, and I'm going for it. I'm going to follow instruction. Ah, you don't hear what I'm saying. Listen, listen, listen. This is not a joke. This is real. My name is Bishop M.J. Rivers, and I have a warrant for your arrest. I want you to understand something. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And God wants you to have the best in life. You got to step out of the boat. You got to walk towards the light. Jesus is the light of the world. Somebody ought to say amen. Pray with me, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me to face my fears. Father God, I heard the preacher. I understand exactly what's going on. You have spoken to me. It is crystal clear. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. I am saved. I'm saved from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. And I'm going for the dreams and vision that you have put in my heart in the name of Jesus. Let the church say amen. 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 Put your hands together and give the Lord some praise. Thank you for tuning in to the Bishop is Speaking. My name is Bishop M.J. Rivers, and I'm so glad to have this opportunity to break bread with you. Until then, God bless you and be encouraged.